All right, so this is the Silent Age. This is a point-and-click adventure type of game. I played these kind of games a little bit, um, like years ago, and I got really into them. Like my favorite point-and-click is probably Blade Runner. Like that was a really good point-and-click game, which I'll have to do at some point. But this one I played on my phone uh, when it came out. Like I can't remember, but I got really interested in it, and then it, I saw it was on Steam. And I had gotten it, beaten it. It was just a cool, weird adventure. Use headphones. All right, so let's get started. Present. It looks like just another Tuesday as Joe sweeps down the floors of anonymous cold office hallways. Then he notices the note, a meeting with brass. Little does he know that today is about to take a very dramatic turn. So yeah, you play as a janitor. It's a very eerie, like, sci-fi type of game. Okay. So let's see.
I, uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Mr. Hill's expecting you. Just walk right in. What's the matter, sugar? Cat got your tongue? Just get your hiney in there. Ashtray looks expensive. Picture of Nixon. If our president, Honest Richard, I call him, I think it will catch on. Ah, Jasper. It's... it's Joe, sir. Ah, of course, Joseph. Uh, how long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Ah, yes, then by now you must know that what we do here is very important. National security may be just a word to most people, Jasper, but for men like you and I, it means so much more. Dick. We see the people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety of every citizen in this country, not to mention the shareholders and the hard-working clerks and stakeholders at the government funding agencies. It also means a lot of pressure. A lot. And some men just... buckle. Which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just opened up, and we're promoting you, Jasper. It, it... I'm... Sir? Don't think the company doesn't notice its hard-working employees. We reward achievement in this organization, young man. And you've just made yourself a gold star. This means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments, too. That's right. That means downstairs lab sanitation. Drain assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? I know you made a great team, but Frank decided to pursue a different career path this morning. We wish him all the best. Oh, and of course you understand that we won't be able to present you with a fancy title or a measurable pay raise. This is a modern company, you understand. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I... So congratulations, Jasper. <laughs> I bet you must oh, be shit. very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card. Thanks. Let's jump out the window. Never been one for heights, but behind these thick panes of glass, I can sort of appreciate the view. You don't just walk up and talk to a fine lady like that without having anything to say. It'd be suicide. You need topics and hours of rehearsal. <laughs> Let's go open the other door. or something. Either way, I'll be the one mopping up this time. Hmm. Weird. This, the hatch is open, but I don't remember hearing about any inspection or repairs going being done today. just got down to Dizzy's. That thing's amazing. I've been down there almost every night after hours since they set it up. Frank says it'll fry my brain, but I think it works just fine. <laughs> LA 
label on the keypad says cryogenics it's locked. Case of nosebleeds, it looks serious. I've got to show this to someone. I'm not much of an engineer, but there seems to be something attached to the two wires that clearly don't belong there. I could remove it and put the panel back in place if I had something to protect my hands. like a handkerchief. Note to self, don't touch anything. It's a very expensive data processing unit. It doesn't actually say expensive, but I think it's a fair guess. The warning sign reads, caution, keep away from liquid materials. Far out? Alright, it's one of those doors where two people have to turn the keys at the same time. It's like something out of a secret agent movie, only this one doesn't use keys, just buttons. This I'll need proof this time, though ever since the stupid Halloween prank, the science department pulled me last year. Pulled on me last year, I don't think they'll take me seriously again. start waving that thing like a crazy person. <laughs> um, Miss Goulette? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, some, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. Uh, no, I, I mean... Good <laughs> heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No, no, it, it's... <sighs> we keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You may look like capable grown men in those boiler suits, but you're really just big boys, ain't you? But I'm not the one who... No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now, let's see what Gloria has for you here. Ooh. Nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. You'll be as good as new. But... Now run along, you little scamp. So we'll probably use the band-aid... ...for the door. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this, so I don't remember all the puzzles. Should hold the button down, yeah. Now what the f 
Bixby needs my help. I don't have time for this. <laughs> <sighs> Mister, are you all right? You're you're bleeding. Huh, that's that's a lot of blood. Uh, stay right here. I'll go get help. No. Don't. Don't get anyone. Are you alone? I I'm not sure what. I asked you a question. Are you alone? Yes, yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen, <coughs> I'm shot bad. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! You're standing on the brink of an extinction-level event, set in motion by greedy half-wits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame, and though I realized our folly in time, less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you would probably perceive as a time traveler. Mister, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! <laughs> I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun-toting overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Thankfully, you look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for me. I... I want you to find me, and tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. What is this? It is a portable, interdimensional, planar membrane chronosync instrument. Time travel. It's a goddamn time machine, okay? For reasons you'll quickly come to realize. The device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <laughs> <laughs> Go! <laughs> Go! Mister? Mister? Help! Help! I need help in here! Stay right there, sir. Listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. He, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. But I, but I work here. You know me. I Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The police are on their way. Look. I don't want to be unreasonable here. All I want is some simple answers to some simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated, do you? Because, uh, oh, we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. Yeah, didn't think so. Let's, uh, let's just keep this nice and informal, shall we? See, I'm a simple, easy-going fella. I try to be affable and not go too hard on people. That's what I find works the best. Now, my partner over here, 
He's a different kind of guy. A real stickler for the rules. Ain't that right, Burke? See, uh, I'm not too good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. Some kind of brain problem, I, I don't know. So sometimes I gotta consult him, you know? Uh, in complicated matters. Uh, he's got a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. Thing is, uh, he's not much of a people person, so most people seem to prefer dealing with me. So tell you what, I give you some simple questions, you feed me some simple answers, and we're all home before Donahue. How's that sound? Now, do you mind telling me what this is? Take your time. Whoa, where did the lights go? Hello? Was I just knocked out? I feel weird, like I was just folded flat and inflated again. Hello? The first two are fine, the third seems to be somewhere in the basement. <laughs> There's a key attached to this bell. I should just grab it and hope it gets me out of here somehow. Whatever this key is for, I hope it takes me far away. Upstairs, we'll find out.
Hmm. Gotta get that recharged. Now we have a code. We can't go this way. Ah, oh, okay. Circles, notes that look like they were written in a hurry. No, can't use that. Bummer, man. Alright, so the paper clip we'll probably use on the lock. Oh, not that door. Roster on the desk seems a lot of officers were sick that day. All right, first let's go get the rope though, because that's probably what we're gonna need it for to get out. Yeah, it was right there, I believe. Yeah, pretty cool game. The graphics are interesting. Kind of like a comic or something. Let's 
screwdriver. going in the other one. Is that safe? tried that, I guess not. Crud! Can't see anything. Hmm. I need a handle for the door. Hmm. The door 
doesn't have a keyhole. Oh, there we go. I wasn't trying to use the paint on the door. <sighs> so what do we need the carpet for? Crud! Man, now I got the door handle, so there's that. All right. <laughs> 